Hey YouTube, and welcome to another video. Matt here bringing you my Breakpoint Booster Box. Um, Max has already opened his, he managed to get his before me yet again, but uh, mine has finally arrived. I'm very excited to get this open. Um, I'm sure as many of you know by now, I am hunting for the, the Scissor and Mega, Mega Scizor cards, as well as the Ho EX. Those would be the cards that I want the most out of the set. All of the Gyarados cards are very cool as well. Um, there is a Greninja break that I think looks very cool. So I'll give you a quick look at all of the sides of the box here. Uh, nothing too special there on the bottom. Go ahead and get the plastic off. We will be doing 18 packs in this half. There will be a part two. Link will be in the description below. So, hate to, uh, you know, be a little late with this box. The set has been out for a few days now. Um, Mine took a little longer than I'd hoped to get here, but it is finally here, so I will delay no more. How has your all's luck been with this set so far? Um, to this point, I've opened up a few other products. This is not my first Breakpoint pack opening. It is the first in my, my box, but um, how has your all's luck been so far? Mine hasn't been that great. So we will set the other half aside. We will do this the right side first here. And we're starting off with a very good, uh, very good first pack art here with a Mega Scizor. Like I said, that is the card I'm hoping for the most is the full art of both it and regular Scizor, my favorite Pokemon. And the code cards are in backwards. Thankfully, by now I've I've learned to avoid that. So here we go with our first pack. We begin with a Dublade, a Dunsparce. I have never seen this card before. Um, I've looked at the set a little bit. Uh, you know, I'm pretty familiar with a lot of it just from opening the Japanese Rage of the, Bro Rage of the Broken Skies box, but I've never seen that Dunsparce before. We have a Tin Pole. We have this Clefairy, one of my favorite cards from the set. The Hypno is a very cool um, counterpart to it. Oh, nice! First pack, and we're already off with an already starting off with an ultra rare here. It is a Raticate Break, and behind it is that Hypno I was talking about. So, a very, very good start here. Go ahead and sleeve up this Raticate Break. This Hypno, we'll take a look at the Raticate in a second. This Hypno has an ability called Goodnight Babies, as if the artwork wasn't creepy enough. And you can see there that poor Clefairy having a really nice. Happy time in Rainbow Land. And then this happened. Poor Clefairy. And then this Raticate Break. From, you know, the general... You know, I don't pay a whole lot of attention to the how useful cards are, but from what it seems, this is going to be a pretty playable card. Um, unless that has changed in the recent months. Very good first start pulling an Ultra Rare. If you haven't already checked it out... Um, Max had a very good box as well, so be sure to check that out. We do have a playlist with every single booster box we've ever opened on this channel. Um, if you all are ever bored, just let that stream in the background. I know I like to you know, watch a lot of these videos just to have the background noise. We begin this pack with a Stantler, an All Night Party, Tierno, a Furfru, Seedot, Psyduck, we have an Esper, Growlithe, Reverse Hollow is an Uncommon, it is a Swana, and the Rare, oh nice, it is the Gyarados EX Secret Rare, holy cow guys, it took me forever to pull a Secret Rare Mewtwo EX from Breakthrough, never got it on camera, and here two packs into the booster box and look at what we have. I absolutely love these new secret rares. This one I think I like maybe a little bit more than the Mewtwo's. Um, interesting fact about it, the artist, this Mitsuhiro Arita, did the artwork for the very first Charizard card in the base set. So he is still going strong, making some of the best artwork, I think, in, in, in Pokemon cards in general. Wow. I'm speechless, guys. Two packs in, a secret rare... Gyarados EX already. Wow. 
So let's just keep this going, guys. You know, there's a lot of cards in this set, like I said, that I really want. But pulling that secret rare, it's going to be hard to replicate the feeling of that. That that card is amazing. And two in a row. I mean, wow. Here we have a Frogadier. Potion. Lapras. A Phantom. That Glammeow is looking a little sinister. I'm liking that card. We have a Hone Edge. A Ducklet. Trubbish. Reverse Hollow is an Esper, just a common card, and the rare is a Luxray. It's a non-hollow. Love the artwork on this. This is a very cool Pokemon. Glad to see it getting some love. I'm thinking this is going to end up probably, if not being my favorite X and Y set, it's probably second to Ancient Origins. Um... There's just so many awesome cards in this set. Tons of EXs, tons of really nice hollows as well. We begin this pack with a Lapras, a Gabite, Slowbro. There's honestly even some really, really great uncommons like that Slowbro and the Lapras. Love the artwork on this, on this set in general. We have a Rattata, a Slowpoke. Reverse Hollow is a Dragalge. Very nice. That is a rare Reverse Hollow. This box has been excellent to us so far. And the rare is a Ferrothorn. Again, another Pokemon that I honestly, I love Ferrothorn. One of my favorite to use in the game. Um, you know, its ability, anytime physical attacks hit it, it causes damage to the opponent. You throw on a lucky helmet with that. It can be pretty lethal. <laughs> of course, I am talking about the video game, not the trading card game. Um, but yeah, I love using that Ferrothorn in-game. I never really battle competitively, but I just like to throw that Ferrothorn out there and just let the opponent kind of uh, defeat itself. Ferrothorn's got some excellent defense, so one of my favorite additions to the Pokemon series. We have a Gibble. Reverse Hollow is a Fighting Fury Belt, and the rare is Eradicate. will pair very nicely with this Eradicate Break. After a strong start, we are cooling off a little bit, but I am not going to complain about that. Plenty of packs to go, and trust me, we're going to see more of the very nice Ultra Rare and Shiny cards. We did pull the only Secret Rare from the set already, so that is fantastic. We have a Dub Blade, Scizor Spirit Link, a Great Ball, a Ferris Seed, Froki, Corsola. A Drowsy, Petalil, Reverse Hollow is a Shelter, which is a common card, and the rare, oh nice, is a Togekiss EX. So just when I say we are going to see more of the shiny things, we see one here. Togekiss is a Pokemon I like a whole lot as well. You're going to hear me say that just about on anything I pull in this set, um, with the exception of... Uh, I think it's Manaphy or Fioni, whichever one. And um, yeah, this one I, I absolutely love. So that is a great ultra rare. We have already pulled three ultra rare cards. Not sure how many packs we've opened, but I know it hasn't been half the box already. Or half of, a fourth of the box, I should say. So this box is already very strong. We've yet to even pull a hollow. <laughs> Which I'm not going to complain about that. I will pull Ultra Rares all day over Hollows. There are some Hollows in this set I like very much, but I love Ultra Rares. So here is a Sigilyph. Surprise, that is not a rare. Same thing with this Aromatisse and Arcanine. All three of those have potential to be rares. We have a Skorupi, Rattata, a Slowpoke, Furfru, Seedot. Reverse Hollow is a Pancham, a common card, and the rare. There we go, our first Hollow, and it is an Aegislash. I spent hours on my um, Y version hatching egg after egg, and I finally pulled or finally hatched a shiny Hone Edge, which is now very lovely blood red looking Aegislash. So there's my little story you all probably didn't care to hear, <laughs> but. It's another Pokemon that I like very much, and I've worked very hard to get one that has perfect IVs and is shiny and all that. So you couldn't tell. Um, 
my knowledge of Pokemon is far more extensive in terms of the video game than the trading card game. This is more of a collecting element for me where the game is something I really, really enjoy. Um, not to say I don't enjoy playing this when I do on the online game, but yeah, I, I like just the Pokemon main franchise a whole lot. We have a Numel, a Blitzel, a Staryu. I like that Staryu a lot. We have an Electabuzz. Nice to see some of the Gen 1 Pokemon getting some love. We have a Garbodor, which is a rare reverse holo. This does come in holofoil form in this set. And the rare is a Greninja. Love Greninja. Surprised to see that as a non holo rare. But it's a non holo rare that I think I will be very happy to pull. <laughs> Always appreciate them when they make non holo rares actually like exciting to get. Like if they made a non holo Charizard, I wouldn't feel so upset about not having something shiny in there, you know? So we begin this with a Mawile, a Fighting Fury Belt, a Max Potion, Corsola, Drowsy. Those two seem to follow one another in most packs that we've opened. Here is a Cricketot, a Pancham, Reverse Hollow is a Gibble, and the rare is a Trevenant doing some kind of uh some kind of dance there. I don't know what he's doing, but regardless, Trevenant's a very cool Pokemon. Love that full art Trevenant EX from, I think, Phantom Forces. Is it Phantom Forces? or Pri It's Primal Clash, isn't it? Yep, it's definitely Primal Clash. Um, love that card regardless. Did pull that out of a Dollar Tree pack once, and that was highlight of my day. So here we begin with a Palpitoad, an RK9, Puzzle of Time, Froki, Electabuzz, Pharaseed, Esper. We have a Staryu. Reverse Hollow is another rare. This is an awesome looking Garchomp. Cool to see it as a fighting type for once as well. And then the rare is a Clefable. Very cool. At least the Clefairy got out of the Danger Zone and into the Twilight Zone. And if I were better at editing and things, right there, that silence is where I would put in crickets chirping and how lame that joke was. But regardless, here we go. We have a Max Elixir. Delinquent. That is the first delinquent I've seen. Gabite. Hone Edge. Shinx. Spritzy. Glamio. Slowpoke. We have a Reverse Hollow Chikorita looking in at that Finnegan on the other side. And the rare is a Suicune Hollow. Very nice. I think they have been killing it with the uh, legendary dog, beast, gerbil trio. Um, the Raikou in Breakthrough and this Suicune are just wonderful looking. Um, not as big a fan of the Ancient Trait Entei, but that Suicune especially is beautiful. So we have managed five ultra rare so or five um, foil cards out of this half of the box so far. Should get at least one more, hopefully a couple more. I'd love to get an above average box. We begin with a grass type Durant, a Luxio, Cricketune, Cricketot, Ratata, Corsola. We have a Skrelp, Petalil, Reverse Hollow is another Luxio, which is an uncommon card, and the rare is a. Shiftry. Big fan of the artwork on this. It almost seems like uh, like he's standing in the middle of the apocalypse or like a war zone. Um, that is one Demented Tree. That was the OG Demented Tree before Trevenant. Which I prefer Trevenant, but that's just me. I guess Shiftry has the advantage if they were to fight since it does have dark typing. And... Trevenant has, you know, the ghost type, which is weak to dark. But Trevenant still wins in my book. We have a Staryu, a Blitzel, Pancham. Reverse Hollow is a Corsola, and the rare is a Lilligant. Not much to say about Lilligant. I do like it, but meh.
I think once fairy typing was introduced, Whimsicott won the uh, the battle there because it got fairy typing. I don't believe Lilligant did. I could be mistaken. So, we have a Fighting Fury belt. Heat, that is the first heat more I've seen in this. We have a Dunsparce, Temple, Clefairy, Chikorita, Shinx, Numel. Reverse Hollow is a Suicune. Very nice. And then the rare is an Espeon full art. Oh, wow. I almost forgot that Espeon was in the set. And after the secret rare, I'm surprised to see another full art. That thing is gorgeous. Wow. So this half of the box has been very, very strong. We still have four packs to go. Incredibly pleased with my pull so far. I am hoping to at least see one of the Scizor EXs, but obviously not going to complain considering what we've got thus far. We begin this pack with a Slowbro, a Stantler, Swana, Corsola, Skrelp, Petalil, Froki, Electabuzz, Reverse Hollow is a Phantomp, and the rare is a Zeb Strika. Do have that card already from one of the packs that I opened before I got this box. Funny enough, I do have the Dragalgy Reverse Hollow Rare already, which, you know, opening less than 30 packs so far and to get a rare Reverse Hollow duplicate, that's, that's kind of cool. Here we go. Here's the first Reverse Valley. I think this one looks cool. I liked uh, Parallel City, I think, a little more. You could tell what was going on a little better in that one. But those cards, I think, are very, very nice. I'm glad that they have started doing things like a full art trainer card almost. Which there are obviously full art trainer cards, but... Reverse Hollow here is a Stantler, and the rare is a Meow Stick. So two packs to go. Uh, we have already hit six foils for this half of the box, but who knows? We could get another. Would definitely like to get that Meganium Hollow as well. Um, there's so many cards in the set that I want that, you know, it's hard for me to even remember all the cards in the set. Obviously, my fixation is, uh, Scizor, 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 Ho-Oh, Scizor, 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 but, um, yeah, there's plenty of other cards I, I want. Here is a Froki Reverse Hollow, and the rare is a Seismitoad. Doing a little, uh, belly flop there or something. Alright, last pack in this half of the video. This half has been very, very strong. Very good to me already. And this pack is not opening as well. There we go. Alright, last pack in this half begins with a pseudo, pseudo Wudo, a Splash Energy, an Electivire, which is an uncommon card, wow. A Shelter, Gibble, Phantomp, Glammeow, Honedge, Reverse Hollow is a Gabite. The last rare in this half is a Garbodor Hollow. So we did manage to pull one extra foil out of this set, seven, or out of this half, seven total. Let me go ahead and gather all these up and we'll do a quick recap. Very, very happy with my pulls so far hoping that part two will be pretty comparable um can't pick up this radicate break here we go we did manage three foil cards we got this aegislash suicune garbador we managed one break which is radicate break not my favorite but still very nice card to pull we have a togekiss ex only um ex we pulled that wasn't a full art or secret rare we have an Espeon EX Full Art, which is super reflective. Love the colors. And then to top it all off, we managed to pull the Secret Rare Gyarados EX. So thanks everyone for watching. The link to part two will be in the description below, so be sure to check that half out. And go ahead and leave us a comment letting us know how your luck has been with Breakpoint so far. Mine has been pretty good, I'd say, overall after this box. Um, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you in part two.